on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. Understand how people just move recklessly and then justify it by saying, well, I'm single. No, now, in my opinion, you trash because if you're not a reflection of what I want when you're single, then I'm definitely not rocking with you when I'm deciding to marry you because you can't turn it on and off. You just going to mask it. And then eventually the real you is going to come out eventually. I mean, in college, people were doing shit that you wouldn't think. Like, let's before Rita, every girl that you mess with, did you want to marry them? No, absolutely not. Okay, so that's moving in a different way. But here's the thing. I didn't want to mar marry Rita when I met her either. Oh, the sure. goal wasn't yeah. to get married because I didn't change into being marriage-minded. I was just trying to be the best version of myself and then when somebody stuck around long enough in my network that made sense for me because I got to see who they authentically were inside and out, because let's be clear, even at that time, I wasn't rocking with everybody. Just, be, just because a chick is bad don't mean that I'm asleep with her. I want to first start off by asking you guys, what is marriage minded? When somebody says that they're marriage minded, what does that mean? <laughs> what is this about? What the hell? <laughs> what does marriage minded mean? Is a person that wants to be married, so they not only act the part, but they become the part. So, if you're marriage minded as a man, um, you're ready to take on a wife and be um, a husband, a leader of a household. Same thing as a woman. If you're marriage minded, you make sure you become a wife, so the man is able to um, find you. And you okay. make sure you're ready to be um, your sidekick to your husband. Also, it's like you doing stuff that's wifey duties already. Like you don't wait to be a wife when you get that ring. I feel like you already have that mentality and you're doing the stuff that a wife quality, well, a wife has and qualities. I feel like it's marriage minded and not only focusing selfishly, but focusing on, hey, you're going to be a unit in, in the future. So you need to put that person, that man, that husband above you and move in, in that type of way. All right. Okay. What about you, Kay? Um, um, marriage minded is, uh, you know, a person that wants to be married. They're, you know, working towards that, uh, you know, living their life. Um, in a way that will, you know, foster <laughs> that situation. Um, yeah. So like once you want to be married, you should move a certain way um, to get what you want. So not, I mean, you should still be true to yourself. Uh oh, uh oh, to get what you, you want. Still be true to yourself. <laughs> but I'm saying like, you know, if you want to be married, I think that there are certain things that you should do, um, certain intentions that you should be clear about um in the like earlier on in relationships um instead of kind of just going with the flow forever mm -hmm. uh you know other than that i don't know all types of people get married so i think the only thing that differentiates a marriage minded person and a non marriage minded person is whether or not they want to be married okay what about you Tom? dog what you got I don't know what the difference is between a person that's marriage minded and a person that's single. Honestly, I don't see what the difference is. It, it parallels for me. Like you are supposed to just be a good human. You know what I'm saying? Like you're supposed to want more for the people that surround you. You're supposed to become the best version of yourself so that you can then pour into other people. Like the best version of me is the best version of us. Right? Like if we all are great, on this show, which is one of the things why I push everybody, you know, to be great all around me, then that makes for the greatest show. And I think that that's just a mentality that's just, that's supposed to extend across the board, regardless of whether or not you're single or whether or not you're married. And then when you find or when you align with somebody so much to where, you know, you're just willing to make a commitment to spend the rest of your life with them, then that just takes, you know, what it is that you do collectively to a greater level because two of y'all can pull 10 times the weight than one alone. So I don't really understand what the difference is between marriage minded and a single person, because it almost reminds me of a person that code switches. Like, I don't like the fact that people code switch or they try, they make the attempt to code switch when they go to work, because people that pay attention to what you're saying know that you're code switching. Like we know that that's not your normal voice. 
We know that you're not the person that you're presenting yourself to be. You don't just automatically start, hey, guys, how's it going? And then all of a sudden, and then when you get around, you're, yeah, what up, though? What? Like, we know that that's not authentically you. We know the person that know how to, you know, that know how to speak proper English versus the person that, you know, is pretending that they really care about the people in the room. You can even sense it when people are around you. You know the people that want to be there and the people that don't. So I think the problem is that people think that they can turn it on and off when they get ready instead of just always being ready to be the best version of yourself. And then that just comes along with the person that you align with. So I don't think that, th that there should be a difference between somebody that's intentionally single and intentionally married or marriage minded. I think you should be the same way across the board. And then when you find your person, mm -hmm. everything goes great. I think people, it, it really depends because people I feel move different when they single Let's say in college, a lot of people in college wasn't focused on getting married. So they go move. A lot of them people was moving a little different than than they are now. So I feel like being single is a different mindset. Single, not really thinking about marriage. That's a different mindset because they really thinking about themselves. They're having selfish tendencies. They're not thinking about, oh, let me act appropriate. Let me let me uh, worry about my sometimes these girls, like, the people in college was doing some some crazy stuff. They wasn't thinking about, oh, let me let me be a wife, right? Let me yeah, do let me, let me in move in a wifey way. Them girls was getting smashed and smashing the homies and <laughs> the men was moving in the same way. So people, when you single, people are acting single, but when you have that marriage mindset, it's a total different mindset, I feel. Yeah, but even when you're in college, right? Like it was lines that I would not cross, A, because... I have to live with the consequences and I didn't want to be embarrassed or have to be ashamed when I go home myself. So I'm not going to cross certain boundaries and B, I didn't want to embarrass the people that raised me, my father, my mother, you know, my brothers and, and everybody that I align with in the church that I went to. So even in that scenario, I wasn't just moving reckless and just, you know what I'm saying? Even if I got in trouble or whatever, it was still certain lines that I was just unwilling to cross. I wasn't going to go all the way or I wasn't going to do certain things. I never smoked. You know what I'm saying? I never got caught up in certain things and I just wouldn't do it because even if it's not the person that you're laying next to, right? I think that you still move cautiously because there's other people that you can impact as a result. So I still don't separate it. I don't understand why people is just so reckless out in the world because it's almost like, yo, my dick matters too. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not doing it in order not to embarrass somebody else. I actually care about my own cock. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't understand how people just move recklessly and then justify it by saying, well, I'm single. No, now, in my opinion, you trash because if you're not a reflection of what I want when you're single, then I'm definitely not rocking with you when I'm deciding to marry you because you can't turn it on and off. You just gonna mask it. And then eventually the real you is going to come out eventually. I mean, in college, people were doing shit that you wouldn't think like let's before Rita, every girl that you mess with, did you want to marry them? No, absolutely not. Okay, so that's moving in a different way. But here's the thing. I didn't want to mar marry Rita when I met her either. Oh, the sure. goal wasn't yeah. to get married because I didn't change into being married, marriage minded. I was just trying to be the best version of myself. And then when somebody stuck around long enough in my network that made sense for me because I got to see who they authentically were inside and out, because let's be clear, even at that time, I wasn't rocking with everybody. Just, be just because a chick is bad, don't mean that I'm asleep with her.